Made by Mum. Hi guys, I'm Natalie and welcome to Made by Mum. Um, I'm sat a little bit differently today. <laughs> I'm going to apologise straight away. I have got workmen outside. They are painting my house. Unfortunately, the smell is coming inside the house. <laughs> um, so if you hear any banging or men shouting, <laughs> it's because I have workmen outside. I'm sorry, I have a speck on my glasses and it's catching. <laughs> so... Uh, it's been a little while since I've been on. I do apologise. I have been poorly and it has been absolutely mayhem here. Children not being at school. Children being at school. <laughs> and I've got a little bit of a life update or more importantly, driving update. <laughs> um, I've got no whips to show. I've got a photo of a whip, but no actual physical whip to show. Um, I made a cardigan for a friend. So I will insert a picture of that when I come to talk about it. I've got an acquisition and oh, I do have a finished object. I've got one <laughs> and I've got a whip to show. Actually, I've got one, two, oh, excuse me, two whips to show. <laughs> I am having a nice cup of tea. I haven't long since finished work. I am drink, I'm trying, trying a new tea or I, I have tried a new tea over the weekend. I'm drinking awesome tea. And it is beautiful. It's really nice. My little brother is actually absolutely, absolutely thrilled to the fact I'm trying new teas because he is a big tea drinker himself. So, <laughs> right, enough on the tea. I will start with my finished object and we shall go from there. So my first finished object, it's another divine hat. It is a gorgeous pattern. I've just used up some scrap ice yarns. It's actually what was left from doing Jacob's study of planet Earth blanket. <laughs> and I ran out, so at the bottom I'm just I've just used an acrylic DK. This is acrylic, but it's a shiny one. But I find the bottom matches quite nicely, so I got a hat. <laughs> um the other finished object, like I say, is a cardigan, which I shall enter a picture about here. Um, I'm looking around trying to think. I have actually got something else and I have left it across the room, which, oh, sorry. I am actually trying a new camera stand as well. A brand new one. My husband got it for me for Christmas. No, before Christmas, for Christmas. I think it was before Christmas, but I'm finally trying it and it sits nicely on my desk. <laughs> right, one second, because I'm really clever and I forgot. Here we go. Ooh. I knocked it again. Sorry. <laughs> right, so, as you know, Jacob wanted to do the Jadrian Stitches calendar blanket this year. And this was my first square because we're doing it together. Jacob has got two more little squares left to do, but he's struggling. He's found it really difficult with the joining, but he's getting there. So I said to him, have a little break. This month is really, really simple. Do that one and then go back to it. So that's what he's doing at the moment. He has started his second. I've got mine, which, sorry about that guys, <laughs> school fund. <laughs> um, yes, this is my Jada Square for the second month. And two very different colours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I just wanted green and blue. I found some green and blue scrap yarn. So that I'm just using my scrap yarns for this. So there's my Jada square done. My knit crate came. <laughs> I have opened it. I am sorry, guys. I just couldn't wait this month. It's taken so long to come through. This is February's. I still haven't got my actual knit crate. This is my sock crate, which is why I opened it to check which one it was. At least that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's have a look. I've already seen, so I know what it is and I love it. Here we go. And as much as I tried avoiding it, I did see other people's on Instagram. So 
here we go and I opened it because I wanted to see this which is a free gift this month I got a knit crit pen <laughs> really impressed with the pen and we got this yarn this is Ardeen's Ardeen Wool's Luxury Sock in the colourway Dew as in Dew Drops it is 75% Superwash Merino, 15% Nylon, 10% Cashmere. And by golly, you can feel the Cashmere. It is so squishy. There, it's a fingering weight and there are 439 yards, 100 grams. Uh, 401 meters. Suggested needle size, a US zero to one or a two point two, a two millimeter to 2.25 millimeter so there's my squishy he's my squishy <laughs> i do like it it's really soft this will actually go really nice with the one that i got last month i got a dark green one hmm i think i might do a little bit of color work and then of course there is the pattern book Let's have a look what have we got now i did have a little flick through because when i've seen other people's pictures up on instagram i noticed a face or a name let's see how many of you can guess our very own creative grandma glenda so well done glenda that's fantastic and the, the colours this month. I can't wait to see which one I get. I'll be happy with any one of them. But I really do like that one. <laughs> but we are looking at these ones today. Because they are my sock crates. So I got Do. And there's Pete. And Peony. That would have been a nice one to get. But again, I do like all the colours. Let's have a look. The patterns. Here are the knit patterns. We have got sand dunes, hat and hand warmers. Which I think they look absolutely amazing. And then of course you have your... Ooh, zoom out a little bit. I can't read sideways. Cloud chaser socks. I don't think I'm that good at doing socks just yet. But we might give it a go. And then we have got... Melon sorbet socks, which I'm thinking I might make them ones. I do like them ones. Or the Nora Took and Fingerless Gloves. Which, the gloves actually look like the alpine, part of the Alpine Stitch or partial Alpine Stitch. Which I struggle with a lot. I lose my temper. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not that bad. <laughs> Right, so there's my knit crate, guys. Well, no, there's my sock crate. When I get my knit crate, I will show you my knit crate. I can't wait to get my knit crate. So, there's that bit. My other acquisition. I wanted these for my daughter to try. And, oh, for me to try two. I got some cross stitch. They are in the packaging. And I'm sorry, I am keeping them in the packaging. So they all stay together. We've got a nice, beautiful orange butterfly. Excuse me, sorry guys. What I will show you is, look at the, if it will show you, the colours. How gorgeous do them colours look? So vivid. We have got a pink butterfly. Now if my daughter struggles with it, I don't mind. I love, cr I love doing cross stitch, but she wanted to try something different because she was enjoying sewing. So I thought this would be somewhere, something for her to do. And again, sorry guys, I am sat there we go. Look at those beautiful colours. So pretty. And then last but not least, we have a blue butterfly. And I've got to say, these 
are my favourite of all the colours. Beautiful. So, that's all my acquisitions. Which, I've been good. <laughs> that's it. Well, it's not, but it is. Because my next project I'm doing, I just needed to buy some yarn to top up on that project. So, you'll see all the colours of it. <laughs> So, I've been, as you know, I have been making lots and lots of African flowers. I forgot the name of them then. <laughs> it's been a long day at work, guys. I've been making some African flowers. And I decided I was going to turn them into a lily pad blanket. Sorry, I'm leaning forward, guys. So, I made some hexagon ones. No, some pentagrams. Well, Five-sided ones. Which turned out really nice and they're green for the lily pad. I made some of those. And I started sewing them together. Do excuse it, I haven't blocked it yet. I'm going to put them together into this sort of a shape. And then I'm going to block them flat. But, oh, Ben's been helping. <laughs> so as it stands at the minute, they are... A little bit of a dome. Sorry, guys, that's the workman outside. So what I've decided to do is put a lily pad in the middle, flowers around the outside. Now, I've got six of these lily pads at the moment, and I'm going to put flowers around them because I've got... Didn't even plan it, guys. I've made 30 flowers and six lily pads. So I'm going to have six that look like this. Then I'm going to do another six and 30 more flowers, but the flowers are going to be white. It's going to be a good size blanket, I think. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a white one in the middle, surround it by the pink, then surround the pink by the white, and then put a border on. So as it stands at the minute, I have got two done, which isn't bad, far to go. <laughs> It is slow work, but it's enjoyable and I'm happy with what I'm doing, which is all we need. Put that back over there so it's out of my way. And the last thing I have to show, are you not touched? That's okay. I've learnt a new stitch. I shouldn't have learnt a new stitch because I had already got so many things on the go, but I've learnt a new stitch. And I wanted to do a decent size practice, so... I'm doing a baby blanket. <laughs> this is as much as I've got done so far. It has got such stretch on it in both directions. It's a waffle V-stitch. It's such a dense material. It is like as dense as a waffle stitch. But it's got so much stretch to it. I love it. And the yarn I am using is King King that's not right King Cole Cotton Top DK I have got it in blue and stone I'm going to say I've got two of each bowl and this much has only taken up half a bowl I'm doing four rows of each colour her change <laughs> so all my ends are on one side apart from my starting chain so we'll get in there Jacob helped with how many rows were per colour I was hoping he was going to go one ball then the other then the other then the other mum but no he decided four rows per ball uh, per colour so that's actually living in my belly bag because what was in my belly bag was what was in my billy bag oh my dad's blanket yes my dad's vinyl blanket all finished he absolutely loves it i will i've got a picture but it isn't a very good picture so i will see if my dad will take a picture for me and send me it and then i can show you guys <laughs> i do have another bag hang on 
Oh, yes. I do have another project on the go. I have been asked if I could make some leg warmers. Some thigh high leg warmers. And so far, I've got the top cuff done. <laughs> this is the bit that is on the top that you can fold down essentially. So when you've got it on, it comes up back to front and you fold it down on your thigh. So there's that bit. And I've got a matching one. So we've got a good start. I just need to do a finish. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am using whoop, a catch on my nail to throw my yarn across the floor. That's not good. Let's have a look. I am using my paint box. I got green shades. And none of these have a name on them, I'm afraid, guys. They've just got numbers. This is the colour I started with. It's like a sage. No fluff now. <laughs> like a sagey colour. And here are the other ones. Oop. Ah, drop it. There we go. I got it. So here are the other ones. And I'm going to go this colour, this colour, this colour, this colour. And do it in a lovely pattern. Not quite sure what kind of a pattern. And my friend isn't bothered so long as she gets them. So for her for her camping trips <laughs> so i must really get back onto those but i'm kind of addicted to my flowers at the moment i want to get that finished because it is actually a blanket for my cousin um the only other thing i've made is a cardigan i did another winnie cardigan i did a few changes to it i didn't actually make the hood um i've done it as a big collar but i've moved the arm sleeves higher up so it's not as big and I put sleeves on. So, like I say, I have got a picture of it. I will show a picture. Um, all the patterns that I followed where I have. So, the African flowers. I've only followed a pattern for the six petal. Or, I did follow a pattern for the six petal. It's not the first time I've made them. <laughs> I followed Jada. Um, from Jada and Stitches. So I will put a link to that in the description box below. Um, the Divine Hat, if you haven't made it, and if you haven't seen any of the others, because <laughs> I know Rose makes it quite a lot from Rose Likes Crochet, um, I will put a link in the description box for that. Um, Jada Squares, I will put a link in the description. I haven't yet done my Mayhem and Majesty, that came through yesterday. Um, so I've got that to do. Can't wait to do that one. <laughs> um, that's about it for the yarny stuff, I'm afraid. I have one other yarny announcement to make. Um, hopefully on the 21st of March, if I'm able to go for my birthday, there is a yarn festival thing in York, which is an hour away from me. So I'm hoping to go to that for my birthday I really hope I can go to that <laughs> there will be some different yarn dyers there um, but that's as much as I know I've never been to it before in my life this is my first time my first fibre fest so e can't wait for that one <laughs> sorry guys I get excited over the silliest sorry thing. about that guys my phone rang again <laughs> But it's non-stop today. Mm. I was telling him about my first time at a fibre festival and getting very excited about it. <laughs> yeah, um, I will find out some more details. Oh, knocking my stand again. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll find out some more details. I will be posting it up on my Facebook group. So if you're not a part of my Facebook group, please pop on over. It's made by mum crochet um there are a couple of questions but nothing too invasive it's just a couple of yarny questions <laughs> um i will post up on there um i'm also going to post up there um and ask because i don't know whether 
in my last video I mentioned I wanted to do a carousel and for those that were interested to get in touch and I've only got a couple of people I'm hoping to get it out this month um in a couple of weeks so I've still got time to add your names on and I will put it up on my Instagram which you can follow me is made by mum 2019 <laughs> <laughs> I don't tend to say them, I just put it all in the description box below. Um, yeah, I'm going to put my email in the description box below and I will be doing another video just for the carousel only, which will be next. <laughs> so you're going to see me in my purple shirt again and this is my work shirt, so I'm sorry guys. <laughs> um, that is everything. That all needs to be everything because I've got to go to school again now. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. So keep making magic, guys, and I will see you all again soon. Bye. <laughs>